Hi DECA members, I'm Marshawn Taylor, a third year DECA member from Brown Deer and our VP of Chapter Development. And I'm Victor Ahsoka, a second year DECA member from Brown Deer and serving as the VP of Public Relations. We know the power of DECA in shaping future leaders and that's why we're thrilled to share our insights today. Today, we're diving into a topic that has the opportunity to elevate your DECA season, getting the most from competition. Absolutely. We're not just talking about winning competitions, but truly maximizing the entire DECA experience while you are there. We'll be covering networking strategies, seizing opportunities at conferences and workshops, and most importantly, how to leverage these experiences into your future career and aspirations. Let's dive in and discover how you can get the most from a DECA competition. One of the most incredible aspects of being a part of DECA is the opportunity to build meaningful connections, not just within your chapter, but beyond. Networking has been a game changer for us, both with fellow competitors and professionals. Networking with competitors has allowed us to form bonds that extend far beyond the competition. I've connected with individuals from neighboring high schools in our area and even made friends with passionate DECA members all the way in Puerto Rico. It's amazing how DECA creates this global network of like-minded individuals. So why should you network with competitors? Well, for starters, it's about collaboration, not just competition. That's right. Instead of seeing other competitors as rivals, view them as potential collaborators, share insights, exchange ideas, and support each other. You'd be surprised how this can enhance the overall DECA experience. And it goes beyond the competition. Networking with competitors opens doors to a diverse range of perspectives and experiences. You'll gain insights into different industries, markets, and innovative approaches to problem solving. Plus, the friendships you build can last a lifetime. The connections I have made have enriched my personal and professional life. Now, let's talk about networking with professionals. Engaging with experienced individuals can provide invaluable insights into professional development. Picture this, you're at a DECA event surrounded by professionals who have walked the path you aspire to take. Don't just see them as judges, see them as mentors in the making. When engaging with professionals during competitions, take the opportunity to showcase your passion and dedication. Don't be afraid to express genuine interest in their experiences and seek their advice. Professionals often appreciate the enthusiasm of DECA members. Use this chance to stand out, not just as a competitor, but as someone eager to learn and grow in the industry. So here are some quick tips for effective networking during competitions. Be confident, be authentic, and be proactive. Don't wait for opportunities to come to you, seek them out. Also, don't just collect business cards, make meaningful relationships. And remember, networking is not a one-time event. Throughout the competitions, take the time to build relationships. After your role play or presentation, engage in conversation, ask for feedback, and express your gratitude for their time. Now, let's shift our focus to seizing every opportunity that comes your way during competition. Specifically, we're talking about conferences, workshops, and sessions with industry speakers. These opportunities are gold mines for personal and professional growth. First and foremost, I recommend attending as many DECA conferences outside of your competition time as you can. These events are not just about listening to speakers, they're about immersing yourself in a world of knowledge and networking. Also, take advantage of workshops. These are filled with practical insights and strategies. Attend sessions that align with your interests and goals. For example, if you're into marketing, you might explore a workshop on the four P's of marketing. And don't forget to take notes and actively participate. Ask questions, share your thoughts, and engage with other participants. For example, if the speaker is discussing leadership, ask them about their personal leadership journey and any challenges they've overcome. Conferences are not just about what you receive, they're about what you contribute to the conversation. Now, let's dive deeper into some hidden gems that DECA competitions offer. One invaluable opportunity is the debriefing sessions. For your role plays, take the time to attend these sessions. Here, you can learn what went well and areas for improvement. Another golden opportunity is exploring the different booths during competitions. These booths re represent a diverse array of businesses, colleges, and more. Take advantage of this chance to connect with representatives, ask questions, and expand your network. And here's a unique and fun opportunity, Goose Chase. This interactive scavenger hunt takes place throughout the competition. Not only is it about team building, but it's also an excellent way to network with other chapters. You might find yourself collaborating with members from different chapters, sharing experiences, and who knows, maybe even forming alliances for future Goose Chase competitions. 
So, whether you're engaging in debriefings, exploring boots, or embarking on a goose chase adventure, remember that every moment at DECA competitions is a chance to learn, connect, and enrich your overall experience. Now that you've immersed yourself in the world of DECA competitions, let's talk about how to take these experiences and turn them into stepping stones for all of your future endeavors. First and foremost, document your journey. Keep a record of your achievements, the skills you've honed, and the connections you've made. This can serve as a powerful portfolio for college applications and future job interviews. Beyond their certificates and medals, highlight the intangible skills, the leadership, communication, and problem-solving abilities that you've cultivated through your DECA experiences. Speaking of skills, integrate them into your resume. Potential employers and colleges value the unique skill set that DECA members possess. Showcase how your DECA journey has shaped you into a well-rounded and capable individual. And about networking, it's not just for competitions. Maintain those connections you forge with competitors and professionals. Social media platforms like LinkedIn can also be a powerful tool for staying connected and showcasing your DECA network. Don't shy away from reaching out to professionals you met during conferences or workshops. Express your gratitude for their insights and let them know how their advice has positively impacted your journey. Finally, consider paying it forward within the DECA community. You can become a mentor by sharing the wealth of knowledge you've gained, your experiences, insights, and valuable tips with fellow members. Remember, DECA is not just a chapter in your life. It's a foundation for your future. Leverage the experiences, skills, and connections you've gained to propel yourself towards success in whatever path you choose. As you step out of the competition room and into the broader world, carry the DECA spirit with you. Embrace the challenges, celebrate the victories, and continue to learn and grow. Thank you for joining us on this DECA journey. If you ever want to connect or have any questions, feel free to email us or reach out at the information shown on screen. And for those who are attending an upcoming DECA conference, keep soaring toward that DECA glass.